Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I know you're looking at like, how did we get to week five when we just finished week three, the last episode? I was recording yesterday, recording a uh, week four against the Bengals. I see we won that game pretty easily, but um, yeah, we end up winning that game. But um, something was going on. Even now, my Elgato is kind of still acting funny. I think I kind of fixed it, but um. Yeah, my Elgato, I hit record, I'm, like, certain I hit record for the video. My voice is recording. Uh, for some reason, gameplay wasn't recording. It just said no gameplay today, I guess. And then, um, when I finished recording, I was about to go ahead and edit it. And then I go look there, it's just a black, um, it's just a black video. It's just there. It basically said the video is there, but there's nothing on the file. So, it's like, okay. I guess it just didn't record it. It got corrupted midway through, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what happened there. But um, even now, when I try to record this video, probably I've been trying to record for an hour now. And the Elgato just is saying no. Now, it looks like the Elgato is kind of working fine now. But before, it wasn't. But we are here in week five. We are two and two. Second place in the NFC North. Uh, Vikings are... Three and one. We actually face them next week, so that's pretty interesting. The Bears, who are two and two, and we win this game, we could possibly tie for first, maybe. I mean, we could look at the team real quick. If you are new to the series and this is your first time watching me, this is the team. We have a shitty quarterback in Marvin West. He's not that shitty. Just his accuracy sometimes is just not good. Same for overall. He has decent throwing stats, but it's like, bro, you got to be a little better, man. Very fast, but it's like, you got to be better, man. Wide receiver in Miles Franklin. He is such a beast. I can't believe he was revealed as star last week. That's another thing that you have to see. He got revealed as star. I did that myself. Um, I just used the um, staff points, revealed him. He is star. I probably shouldn't have revealed him because... Look at his attributes, though, bro. He is amazing. How tall is he? Six. Oh, my God. He's six foot flat, which is, I mean, in terms of our team, it's not short because we was rocking with, like, 5'10 receivers, 5'11 receivers last year. And the rest of the receivers are pretty tall. Pat Gardner, pretty big receiver, 6'4". Just, we have great jumping receivers, but we don't even use them in that way. Uh, Zach Ross, who is just continuously having good weeks. Like, once again, good jumping receivers. 96 jumping is, like, ridiculous. Like, if you look at the season Zach Ross is having, it's kind of crazy. Can we go game by game? Yeah, I mean, first game, 27. He had two back-to-back -back 100 receiving yard games. Like, crazy good games, which is ridiculous. I will admit, we have, like, a middle linebacker problem. Cam Dunn is not that good, and uh, Dante Griffin, they're just not really good right now. I think our outside linebackers are pretty decent in coverage. Uh, you look at the D-line. Marquise Belton is just not generating pressure. He has stats to get there. He has 91 finesse move, 78 power move. But if we go and look at how he's been playing this these Past few games, not really good. He had he hasn't had a sack in three weeks. This is a sick Negro. We're gonna look at this. Uh, what team is this? This Bears team. Almost a Dolphins team. Go look at this Bears team. Get get into weekly strategy. Get into some upgrades and get right into this episode. I already spent a lot of time talking about nothing. Remember this quarterback, he's he's the one that likes to scramble. This is a team that kind of gives us trouble, but it's not like a lot of trouble, though. Their running back is also quite decent. He's actually injured, so they're going to be starting a superstar running back, so it doesn't fucking matter. How good are you? You're 68 overall. I promise we should dominate this running back. What's his abilities? He has no abilities, and I'm not going to give him none. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, if they don't have ability, that's not my problem. Uh, 
Elliot McGee, you know, receivers are pretty speedy. Would say that for the most part. Might have trouble covering them. Tight end, pretty decent. Left end, good. I'm, I don't know, left end, left tackle, good. Left guard, good. All right, this is actually a. Was he injured? No. Uh, this is a pretty good offensive line, though. I would admit that. Oh, he's injured, though. Nice. So, right end is probably going to be a free side to rush on. Not rush, but, like, roll out. DT is good. Linebackers are good. They have a pretty good group, I would say that. I mean, their coverage is not fantastic. They might be running a lot of man today, so... When they do run zone, we know it's open. At least over the middle. I don't know. It should be. Because their zone is, like, not that good. I think I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to throw it medium. I'm going to say defense short pass because, I mean, we could just adjust that halftime, if anything. We're going to go throw it medium. I don't think they're going to blitz us that much. I'm going to say throw it medium and, uh, you feel me? Go to upgrades and then uh, on the field we go. Ben Johnson, who's just not seen a field like that because he's a backup. He only has 28 snaps this far, which is like, golly. You probably should have revealed your debit trade because you just weren't going to see the field like that. Uh, Just go where he's good at. Power moves. Plus three power moves. Got a lot of stuff. Plus one. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Kirsten Geddes, who is a power back, who, I mean, he almost has 90 speed as a power back, so we're going to still go trucking, but almost 90 speed for a power back, that's not that bad. Trucking plus three? We didn't get trucking, we got carrying. Uh, whatever, that's weird. Go slot for Julian Jackman, because that's all you will play. You don't even see the field like that, but when you do come in, you will be in a slot. Jose Wallace, who is probably one of our best, uh, I would say outside linebackers. One of our best deep safeties. Uh, he's pretty fast, can fly around the field. Need to get that man up, so I'm going to go hybrid right now. Hopefully, it boots his man. Should, there's four of them. Plus two man covers, exactly what I want. And we still got plus one zone, so that's not bad. Chris Gilchrist, he is a beastie tall receiver. 6'5", 234, not that fast, but he's more of a jump ball guy for us. He had a plus two catch and track on plus two release. I mean, catch and traffic is his best stuff and release is already at an 87. He's playing up though, but still. Pat Hobbs needs... Man, but we're going to stick in zone. We don't run a lot of man, though. We kind of do. Let me stick with slot. Give me a man. Plus two man coverage. I'm cool with that. And we got press. Still can't get my second ability slot out, but that's whatever. For the middle linebacker, it's just always going to be pass coverage. That's just what we want them to do. Plus two man, plus two zone. That's crazy. What's your man? 65. Ooh. Maybe that's why you've been getting killed when you run man. But when I run man, I'm not even looking to, like, um, be in coverage. I'm looking to get to the quarterback. Yo, what is on your arms, bro? You look like um, Cyborg from um, Teen Titans. Is that his name, Cyborg? I think it is. We'll go vertical for Cam Gibson. Titans are always going to be vertical because... That's what we use them for. Obviously, we use them to block sometimes, but half the time, it's not even for that. We really don't, not that we don't care for it, but it's like, we want our tight ends to be good in um the receiving game. We're going to let the CPU do the rest of these by themselves, and we'll see you on the field. We are here after back-to-back -back weeks of picking up W's. After a frustrating loss to the Eagles, we pick up a win against the Packers and pick up a win against the Bengals. We are kind of on a hot streak. Marvin West, for the first time in a very long time, 
He's on a two-game streak of throwing no interceptions. Last week was a little game manager s of a uh, quarterback display for Marv West, but I'd rather have a like a uh, um, a game managing quarterback than a gunslinger quarterback. To be honest, like gunslingers, they 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 gonna keep throwing that ball, bro. And don't get me rush. I said don't get me rush. <laughs> don't get me wrong, Marvin. He sometimes does have a gunslinger play style to him. So sometimes he's gonna he, he gonna let that thing he gonna sling it. He gonna try to hit them throws, but he is realizing that some throws he's just not able to hit because he's just not that type of player. And he's realizing that sometimes you gotta rely on his running back. Sometimes you gotta rely on his legs. Sometimes he just has to accept it for what it is. Like, hey, I'm just not gonna get this play. Like right now, we are just not gonna be able to convert this. We're gonna have to probably go for it on fourth. Settle for a punt, depending on our defense, depending on run game. You feel me? Wes is just, he's hes hes evolving as a quarterback, especially a second-year quarterback. I think he's playing well. We'll see his stats in a few. Their quarterback, um, please be having a bad year. Yeah? I mean, yeah. That's what I like to see. I do like to see that. What are they calling? All right, we'll take that. I'm like, there's no way that's rough in the past here. We're going to accept that. Oh my God, thank you. Because I blitzed in with the uh, free safety. Or well, probably strong safety, honestly. No way. Please tell me he's short. I just let him do that. I watched. It's third down. What the hell? Why did I think it was fourth? I had to make a decision, and I think they got that. Yeah. Is either I was covering the flat or I was chasing whoever ran to that other side. Alright, it's going to be third down right here. I'm blitzing. Like, I think regardless I'm going to blitz. God damn it. I blitz middle, they ran to the outside. It don't make sense how I'm getting blocked and the DT is getting blocked. Or blitzing. Don't get burned. Threw it away. I was bumping that uh, running back. I'm not going to lie. All right. Good defense right there. Good tackle. Third down again. Let's get a stop, fellas. Come on. Good shit. Do we take this out? We do. Is that Justin? I think that was Justin. Justin Avery. It's either Justin Avery or Pat Hobbs. That's the only two people that potentially have, like, superstar. But as I say, we're going to see our quarterback. And he's playing a little... I don't know. That's not really good. 
Uh, right under a thousand, but uh, I mean a little comparable to the other quarterback. So I think we can get a rollout here. There's only like two people that could be open on us. I don't think any of them are. Get there. What a catch! I thought the left end who was rushing in was, yeah, I thought he was about to hit us. And I was like, oh my God, it's over. Y'all challenging that? Y'all really didn't think we caught that. No way, no. Why did it, why did it give him that animation? Because now it really looks like he didn't. And he didn't. Ah, oh, jeez. I should have, like, hurried up. But I didn't think it would be anything like that, bro. I thought he dropped it or bobbled it for some reason. Bro, like, why can't my, uh, my players just be a little bit better or something? All right, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Good tackle, though. Because I couldn't move. I couldn't change anything. My controller was literally stuck. But why can't my players in coverage play how their players play in coverage, where they see every ball coming? All right, they're down here. What do you think they're going to do? I think we stopped them. Should be a punt. And look, this might be a, a fake field goal, so... Let's go safe, man. That's a fake field goal. Fake punt. I don't know what I'm talking about. Fake field goal. All right, it wasn't, and it's kind of a shitty point anyways. Is it? 17? Eh, close to the 20. I'm I'm not even mad. It's like, eh, fuck it. Thank you. He got bumped, so I'm going to just use my legs. I think I got the first. Yep. That can work today, but I don't know if it will. I mean, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. We're actually gonna run the ball again. Maneuvered his way through there, and it's gonna be a little short. Actually, gonna be a first down. Interesting. I thought it'd be a little short. Gonna run just like a halfback dive right here. Getting about four, possibly five. Nah, just four. I think we got a pass right here. Gonna go to some mesh. This is exactly what I did last week, bro. Run wasn't really there. Well, at first it wasn't there. Then I just started running my own plays. I like to go coach suggestions sometimes, but as you can see, coach suggestions just isn't it all the time. Good stiff arm by, I think, uh, Gibson. That's my second pass of the game. I feel like I passed it way more than that, but... I think I'm going to run this play and then hurry up and then play action. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up. There's no way. I thought it would at least sell out of bounds. I don't think that should have been picked. Uh, it's just lowly thrown. It, it's a good interception, though. I can't lie. Good tackle, y'all. 
Let's not give a points right here. I don't mind going into half zero zero. There you go. I seen that over the middle that it looked like he wanted to throw to that. So glad we covered that so well. Oh my god, I'm running the wrong shit. Oh my god, they didn't make a fucking... This game is so dog shit, bro. I switched to him. I'm pressing Y. He just stands there like an idiot. I should have got in. I should have fucking sacked him right here, but I didn't. But look at this. He's just standing there. I switch. Don't do nothing. It's because he's getting bumped. It's because he's getting bumped. I know. The game is shitty. It should not do that. I wish you just could have broke that tackle, but two-minute warning. Close to midfield. Thank you for dropping it. Thank you for dropping it. There was nothing. Yo, they're playing beautiful coverage. I can't lie. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. That's what I'm talking about. Jose Wallace. I don't I feel like the coverage was just fucked up right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just really that's how I just really feel. I feel like the coverage was so bad right there. Decent. Gonna let clock run down. And Rivers is hurt. That's one of our starting corners, I believe. No way, this is actually a blitz. It's not. Had to. They didn't have the edge. Somehow a uh, D lineman is faster than me. Can you believe that? I should get this. Good shit. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way they're stopping me there. Good shit, Webs. Get your shit off. And like I said, we should be tying this going into half. Why do I have no kick meter? <laughs> or indicator, really. I just noticed that I have no kick indicator. Even right now, I have no kick indicator. This could work. It's not what we wanted, but this is open. Let's not even try to go for a rack right there. It's just possession it. Because every time I'm trying to rack it and I'm near somebody, it never works out. And we do have some speedy receivers, so. Good way to hold on, Frank. I think that was Frank. It was. Ball was not the best, but... Hey, it got there, right? Technically, it did. <sighs> you have to slide a year before you want to go down. This game is so annoying for that, bro. I'm sliding. Like, I don't like how you have to slide so early, man. There's things called late hits when you're trying to give yourself up and, bro, they should make that a call. Obviously, I don't know. It's just like mechanics in this game is very dumb. Very dumb mechanics. Whatever. Down by seven. Could have went up by seven, but we're down. Or well, we are down now. Thank you. Let's go, Frank. Get them big yards back. Let's try to run the ball here. I'm not running outside. We just don't got the blocking for that. 
There we go. Damn near first down. I'm going to run the ball again to just get this first down here. Can I just get a regular run? I just want a run, bro. <laughs> I don't want nothing crazy. There's no way a DT is getting me, bro. We have to get this first down. Like, let's stop playing around. I fell in. I fell in. I fell in. They're saying inches. This is ridiculous. Like, why am I having trouble getting a first down right here? I don't like running base, but come on, bro. I was going to say, if we don't get this, we probably lost the game. Are there two blitzing off the edge? No way. It is, bro. I didn't throw it away. Two off the edge. There was nobody even on that side to block them, really. There's no way I caught that, though. I wasn't okay with it being picked, but I didn't think I was going to catch that. That's a wild throw. Yeah, you have to. That was just a lucky heave. It's a good place ball, but it kind of just floats a little too much. Good thing that guy just has very good hands. Think I get it with a run right here? No. Okay, no. Throw it to the wrong person. I swear to you, I threw it to the wrong person. I'm going to throw it to Y, I think. But, hey, Franklin gets a touchdown, though. It's going to tie it up here. 14 to 14. If we could play some defense, we'll be in a good position. And maybe that was a better pass. I don't know. I ran too far back. He gained five on that. Did they change my coverage? What the fuck? They told me I was in the deep blue now. No, I don't know why it said that. Bro, someone is in that spot. It's like they're just not spread out far enough for some reason. And every play, what do I do? Spread. Just like I did right there. Good drop. That's what I'm talking about. Is that third? Second. I was so hyped for a third down right there, bro. You don't even know. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do here. It's a run anyways. There's no way he got past two people. Fourth down here. I mean, third down. Fourth quarter coming up. I think I'm blitzing. Come on, let's get a tackle. He should not be across. Fourth and one. You really got to prepare for a uh, fake here. If there's ever going to be a fake, it'll be right here. On like a yard away. But no, field goal. I'm cool with that. I think we go, uh, go down and get points. Um, we've been having a fair time with the ball when we are protective of it. Like we're just not making mistakes. 
I just need to stick to what works on offense and stop trying to do too much. Stop trying to think I'm going to get everything just because, you feel me, I am I should be getting these things I should that I want, but I got to realize that I can't always get these things. So stop repeating these uh, mistakes. Need blocks and we need time, fellas. Time. Time is very important in this situation. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to run again, but I was like, bro, we don't get a lot of yards right here. I'm going to be a little upset. So let me just prevent that from happening, me being upset by just getting a run here. Like, it just, I mean, passing it. It shouldn't be a missed throw, bro. You have it protected. Got to go back to mesh. We have to, bro. Every time I go with something else, they just don't do anything with it. You blitz off this. Let me just move you outside a little bit. If I see this nigga blitzing off the edge, I'm about to say. Thank you. Yep. Get them yards. This is the part of the game where I waste clock a little bit. We're there on the one. <laughs> There's really no point in even um, chewing clock anymore, but, you know, waste a few seconds off the clock. Wouldn't be horrible. And an easy walk-in touchdown. I was like, I don't even have no pass and touchdowns today, but yes, I do actually remember I had a pass and touchdown today. So that's going to put us up by four, right? 21 to 17. Uh, we just need a stop. One stop and the game is practically over. Yeah, obviously you will not go for a field goal in this situation because they're down by four. So it's going to be touchdowns through here out. Um, they have a two, they basically have four timeouts. They have a two minute warning. They basically have a full minute. A two-minute warning, and then three timeouts after that. And they're going to play with the out-of-bounds line. I should have been there, but I just wasn't. Yo, let me say this. I don't know what he did. I tried to swat it. I don't even know if he tried to swat it. I can't even tell you if he tried. You know what he did do? He PI'd. Because he's catching this. Let me be honest. This? Yeah, that's a diving catch in the end zone. But look, he's in the way. So what does it do? Off the fingertips. He still could have caught that, though. And I would have been devastated. Should I have gone for a pick in that situation? Mm, maybe. There we go. That's going to be a two-minute warning right there. I had to cover behind me and in front of me. The person with me was doing the same thing, it seemed like. I feel like I was controlling both of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you for knocking that out, bro. 
I'm like, if he catches this, bro, do you know how embarrassing that is? Thank you. That's game. You just got two. I guess you have three timeouts though. But you feel me? As long as you get a first down, fairly game. All right, so <laughs> we kind of messed up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, to you. we kind of did. Uh, yeah. Maybe it will show what happened. I don't know. What it was. We're running prevent. No, we're not. For some reason we're running man coverage. He dropped it again. That's like their fourth jump ball that they missed. And they're going to go short. Doesn't make sense to go that route, but they did. Screen. <laughs> you got like a billion yards, but that's the last play of the game. Might be able to get one off, or they actually are. Just make a tackle. And that is game over 21 to 17 is your final. Don't want to see this post game bullshit. He had another game manager S uh, game, honestly. 200 and 34, nope, that's the other quarterback. Other quarterback, 234 yards. Completion percentage of 52, one touchdown, two interceptions. Our quarterback, 208 yards. 50% completion percentage, one touchdown, one into. Jaquan Smith had mm, productive. Oh, no, we kind of use a run to set up the pass. Use run on short downage yards. So, yeah, you got what you got. When he threw the ball to three people today, I mean, it was a productive three. They all had multiple catches. Pat Gardner, Miles Franklin, and Zach Ross. And only one of them had a touchdown on Pat Gardner. So, I mean, five catches, 94 yards, three catches, 55, and three catches for 59. Not horrible. Defensively, I don't think we played that well. We had two tackles for loss in Justin Avery and Jose Wallace, and then... Uh, Jose Wallace had a sack, and then Jose Wallace had an interception. Jose Wallace was the man, but where is Belton at? He's just not doing anything since week one, maybe? I don't know. He hasn't been doing anything, really. Maybe since last year. That's, I don't know. That's weird. This is three wins in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Three wins in a row. Ridiculous stuff right now. I never thought we would win three games back to back. Not in even a dominating fashion, but in winner's fashion. You might be able to say, what is a winner's fashion? Just winning the game. We are three and two. Possibly we could be a tie for first place in the division. We'll see after this week. And drum roll, please. I don't have a drum roll effect. I don't know. Damn, Vikings are four and one. What the hell? All right, um, they're probably also on a three game win streak, which is not very good. We have a breakout player. I'm gonna say this is Wes. Honestly, I think it's gonna be Wes. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for us. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like to help this video get out to other people and their recommended, and subscribe for more content like this series and more series coming on to the next cycle of Madden, which is in a couple weeks, I think, like three weeks or so, maybe two weeks. 
Not really sure. It comes out soon, though. But we'll finish all this series in time to head into that um, series. Yeah, so watch a video, previous uh, playlist, and yeah, that's going to do it. Peace.